So welcome to another episode of Prophets Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. This one's gonna be a little bit different than the rest, and it's because we're gonna follow the journey of this FJ40 behind me from the very beginning of its build all the way through now. We've been filming this episode for months and months because that's how long it took to build this vehicle. I hope you like the new format, and so let us know in the comments if you'd like to see anything changed. Anyway, this FJ40 right here is pretty special. Let's watch what happened to it. Every body tub needs something. Oh yeah. What's this one need? Well, it's always like uh, the sill and wheel wells. So that's what I'm doing. I took out the old one yesterday. <clears throat> it was pretty bad. Replacing the rockers and you know, holes in the floor. Just that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Same old, same old. Same old, same that's old, yeah. What's up, Team Chad? Team Chad, working on uh, my project. Looks like Team Chad's got some primer on his tub. Yeah, we got it primed this week. I'm really excited working on the jump seat right now. Um, trying to take advantage of all this right now. Uh, all this extra time, I should say. No, I'm just kidding. We're always busy. Would you add a day to the week? We added an extra day? Yeah. Is that, everybody works here seven days a week now. <laughs> so right here, you can see we got it in round one primer. We still have a little bit of body work. What we'll do is we'll uh, just come in and Look for little imperfections and get all these sanding marks out and just get it really perfect this next round uh, so we can throw it in round two primer and then and get it painted. Which one's we painted first? I think team team Chad's really pushing, but we got a little character over there that's team Bob. <laughs> team Bob. I see sanding marks on Team Bob. How come there's no sanding marks on Team Chad? Yeah, this is for that. He's, he's really <laughs> focusing on his tub. I've not only focused on my tub, but I've also got a lot of my parts over there on the shelf that's already primed, so. Yeah. It's definitely a race. And I'm gonna win. <laughs> This thing's looking good, it's coming along. It is coming along. We've got the powertrain put together and dropped into this powder coated frame. And I am knocking off some of the work that is much easier to do now, but very hard once the body is on. Brake lines, fuel lines, things that are accessible now, but later they'd be in a tight space. Precisely, some of the plumbing of the Cummins motor, yeah. things like that. Cool, this is the part where I like, because everything is new and shiny almost, and and you can tell we're making progress. We really are. This project's coming along great. It's going to be really nice. Yeah. I have salvaged a harness to go with this truck. It come in with a ruined harness, ruined aftermarket harness. And I've uh, scrounged up one to put all the factory stuff back in this vehicle. I mean, we're going to obviously be uh, modifying a bit to go with this Cummins engine, but this is gonna help us a lot in getting the rest of the factory switches and stuff to work. I'm gonna end up retaping a lot of this and uh, repairing some wires that have been cut off and uh, converting it for uh, an older style ignition switch. This is gonna help us a lot. Well, we have a modified transmission cover to clear a five speed. So the whole top got sectioned and lifted upward in our factory boot when you put it on. It doesn't seal off due to the new contour of the transmission tunnel. So we're gonna make a new ring, modify an existing ring, and we'll get a new boot upholstered for it so that it fits with a transfer case shifter. It seems like only yesterday this was a primer tub. 
and today it is actually a painted tub. Although it looks like it might be a primer tub. It's yes. a unique color. It's a uh, it's the exact same amount of work to make this, uh, like this, maybe even a little more work to make it dull um, and this uh, satin or eggshell gray as it would be uh, if it were shiny, right? But uh, this client chose this color and I'm really starting to dig it. I wasn't sure at first, it, it looks like primer and um, so we weren't sure how it was gonna turn out but with everything you bolt up to it, it starts to pop and the contrast is good. What do you think of the paint job, Alex? It looks like primer. <laughs> Dave? Round three primer. It looks like round three primer? Yeah. That's funny. I like it though. We I do. like it. Roy, what about you? You like it? I like it, it's different. Yeah. yeah. We, have, we, have, we have two rounds of primer. Round one primer, which is an epoxy based primer, then round two primer, uh, which is a sandable, and then sometimes there's a round two and a half, um, and, and then paint, right? But in this case, the, the joke, round three primer. Uh, anyway, you actually have to be really careful with this because if you scratch the shiny red one that we looked at a few minutes ago, you can buff that scratch out. But if you scratch this and you start buffing, it will become shiny. So if you can't scratch this, it's sort of uh, unfixable once you do. So you have to be either. even more careful uh, around this one than you do the rest of them. But Alex this said something about not being able to wash it. Yeah, how do you wash it? Well, you can wash it, soap and water. I think the drying process is more delicate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't take it to one of those car washes where the cheerleaders are washing the car in the corner. You don't do that. You wash it yourself. They, there's so many little detailed things that have to be uh, assembled and put together in this stage that you know you could probably have five guys on it for a few days here while we while we get uh, all the systems started. And this thing. Um, is particularly complicated because of the mix of years that we have going on um, and some just various differences that, that you know there's a lot of uh, balls in the air right now so it's a cool it's a cool part of the project I cannot wait to get hood fenders windshield frame and uh, and bib on this so we can see what it's gonna look like just out looking at uh, this truck Matt it looks like you're almost ready for round three primer Yes, we're uh, actually prepping it out for paint right now, and that uh, joke I understand completely. <laughs> if you look at the finished product, you'll understand what we're talking about. It's a very uh, uh, matted out gray color that we're painting the vehicle. But we're still taking all the steps that we would normally take with uh, body panels as far as uh, two rounds of block sanding and primer, uh, all the nice detail sanding. Uh, we want this thing to look uh, factory fresh when we're finished with it. And that's where we're heading right now, and these parts will probably be getting painted later on today. Oh, I'm excited. So the next time we see the truck, it's gonna have a front end on it, and we'll really get an idea of what it's gonna look like. That's pretty cool. I know the guy who owns this is really excited to get it, and uh, we're, gonna, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make him a pretty unique truck. It's gonna be fun. So some of the last parts that get put on are the top and doors. We call them round two parts, and uh, that's when you get to finally get a good look at what the vehicle's gonna look like. So we've got some window tinting that's uh, going in today, and then we'll be able to put the top sides on and the top on, and it'll give us that good visual of what the rig's actually gonna turn out like. It's been exciting on this one because of the flat gray color. Um, every little detail that we add to it really brings out what the client intended for this vehicle to look like, and it's turning out really sharp. Okay, well the last few days have been really tying together a lot of the small electrical stuff like interior light and rear camp light and a uh, trailer tow harness, um, also things like rear speakers and the, the grommets that go through the body to seal the body to make it watertight. Um, yeah, that sort of stuff.
This FJ40 is one of our premier body off restorations. We start with the bare frame and make all the necessary modifications for the drivetrain and suspension upgrades. Then that frame is powder coated and we start from the ground up. Every body component and subcomponent is hand refinished and in this case in a matte gray finish. Keen eyes have already noticed that it's actually a 1970 FJ40, but it's got kick-out windows on the top sides and ambulance doors. That's because ambulance doors add so much functionality that this customer wanted to add them so he could get in and out of the back unobstructed. It takes a little bit of work to add this top and ambulance doors to a build like this, but in the grand scheme of things, it's definitely worth it. The suspension on this Land Cruiser is an old man emu, two and a half inch lift with Bilstein shocks on all four corners. We've combined that suspension with the Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruiser shackle reversal in the front, which has the correct steering geometry to eliminate that extra jarring from your springs going up and forward as they hit a bump. To enhance the shackle reversal and the suspension, we've reversed the rear springs and moved the rear axle back three and a half inches. If you look closely, you can tell from the wheel well location that this Land Cruiser's wheelbase is longer than most. Under the hood of this 1970 FJ40 is a Cummins R2.8 turbo diesel. You've heard us talking about this diesel a lot lately, and there's a reason why. It's just an awesome engine. Behind the R2.8 is an H55 F5 speed and a split case from a 1987 FJ60. The interior dash of this Land Cruiser retains the classic look, except for a set of Dakota Digital gauges and the Murphy gauge for the Cummins engine provide far better monitoring on the vehicle's systems. Rounding out our interior upgrades are a retro stereo system and our standard rigid A-series light in the roll bar. So thanks for watching this episode of Prophets Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. Check out our YouTube channel for lots more episodes just like it. Like us on Facebook at Resurrection Land Cruisers. Instagram, we are at Pro Cruiser. And check out our website at ResurrectionLandCruisers.com. Thanks for watching. Because on the... This is one of the hardest white, parts. The black's on the bottom and white's on the top. Dealing right? with Bob. We agreed a minute ago and now he's disagreeing. What? Nothing, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, come over here. Oh, come on. It was, it was, I gave my phone to chat. That's why I gave them yeah, When we looked at it, I said, it needs to go shade lighter. All right. All right. Good job, Chad. And good job, Chad and Bob. There, how about that? No, no, Get over here. Get over here. Who's that guy? Um, is that new guy? Is that new guy? No, I haven't met new guy. Todd, Todd, new guy. He's the guy you want to avoid. Well, the problem is, is when you run, I chase you. Yeah. So it's better just not to run. Mm -hmm.